All right, guys, uh, welcome to the final module of this course. Uh, thanks again for your time, for your investment in, in this course. Um, I really believe Infusionsoft is a powerful, world-class uh, tool, and I, and I hope that it will be successful for you and your business. Um, simply by showing up here, simply by watching these videos, you have already given yourself a better than average chance at uh, achieving the types of results that you're looking for. So um, I want to underscore and, and uh, recap a few things from this course that I think will, will be important for you as you embark on this marketing automation journey. So number one is that the Infusionsoft is just a tool, right? It is not a solution. It's not a plug and play, you know, set it and forget it, you're, you're done thing. Uh, it requires a strategy, that's the blueprint, um, that somebody needs to execute. And it requires expertise to do that well and to do that efficiently and, and consistently. And that expertise could come from you um, if you want to invest in education, I have a progression path of Infusionsoft courses I would be happy to tell you about, uh, but it also doesn't have to be you, right? Just because somebody has to use Infusionsoft doesn't mean that it has to be you. It could certainly be a team member of yours, somebody you task with learning this software and implementing your vision, or uh, it could be a consultant. Um, there are a uh, there's no shortage of consultants in the Infusionsoft ecosystem who would be happy to help translate your vision into marketing automation that, that actually does and delivers on that. And if you want a recommendation for that or if you are interested in going that route, um, I, that's not a service I offer, but I would be happy to help you find that person. So recognize that the recipe for success with Infusionsoft is the tool the strategy, and then also the expertise. It takes all three of those elements um, to successfully use this platform. Okay, so the second theme I wanna underscore here is to start small. Um, yes, you can design you know, comprehensive, robust, intricate, automated systems that span the entire length and duration of your customer's journey. Um, and over time, that might be what you end up with, but that should not be where you start. I encourage you to start small with these, these automated individual interactions. So think about like, if somebody buys something, they get um, access to that thing. If somebody fills out the contact us form on your site, uh, it creates a task for you to reach out to them, right? Or these, these small and simple, if this, then that recipes, that is where automation is born and where you can start to see not only results, but you can start to build traction and you can start to learn from the automation that is already live, right? Because if you wait until you have everything perfect and dialed in um, until you launch, well, you realistically may never launch. And so by starting small, you can begin learning, you can begin proving the concept, seeing results, and you will also build momentum along the way. So I wanna remind you that it's tempting, it can be tempting to design this really intricate, robust system, uh, but before you do that, design something small and get something live, because what will happen is as it begins to work, you'll begin to, to see the results and it will either encourage you or it will buy your time back, which you can then choose to reinvest in other areas of your business. All right, so the next theme I wanna underscore for you is that you don't need to use 100% of the software. It is, it is a, a misnomer that I hear time and time again that I think can actually be detrimental to your success because if you're trying to use every aspect and every feature of the software, um, inevitably you'll spend time or you'll waste time on something that is not a, a good fit for you or something that just wasn't designed for businesses like yours. And so rather than trying to use all of what the software has to offer, I encourage you to get hyper clear on what your business needs and then focus on doing 100% of that, right? So the, the shift there is that instead of using 100% of the software, you're using 100% of what you need from the software um, and remembering that that equation is personal. And if that is something that uh, that you need help defining, if you need help uh, recognizing, well, what features are for me or, or, or are not, of course, I have free and paid resources uh, that I'd be happy to recommend for you, or um, that might be a conversation worth, worth spending some time with an automation expert uh, who can help uh, understand your business and prescribe the specific path toward, toward doing what it is that your business needs. All right, the final piece of advice I have for you here is to embrace the Infusionsoft ecosystem. I have seen you in countless Infusionsoft users who get started and they begin building automation into their systems and then they hit some sort of stumbling block or some sort of obstacle 
And time and time again, the answer, the solution to their problem is already out there. It's in the marketplace. Somebody has faced that problem before and somebody has designed a solution specifically for that purpose. But for some reason, Infusionsoft users have this mindset that they have to do it all natively or they have to do it all themselves. And I'm telling you right now, your life will be a lot easier if you learn to lean on the tools and resources that are already out there. Um, as, as unique as your business is, and I have no doubt that it is unique, the odds are somebody else has already solved that problem. If what you are after is a, a membership solution or a, a scheduling solution or an integration to another platform or, or any other number of challenges, if somebody else has asked that question, then a solution very well might already exist. And so if you learn to use the Infusionsoft ecosystem, um, you can take advantage of those those pre-packaged solutions and, and skip the frustration uh, or the stumbling block that those hurdles might otherwise present. So that is it, guys. Um, Infusionsoft is a uh, powerful platform. It is a invaluable tool for my business, and I expect it will be for yours as well. Um, and Infusionsoft is my one thing. So I am glad that you have taken the time to invest in this course. I would love to help connect you with some of my other tools, resources, or educational materials, if that would benefit you. Um, for most Infusionsoft users, the course that I recommend they start with is the IS Starter Kit. It is a uh, foundational course um, where we get into the core application. We help get comfortable navigating, running searches, sending broadcasts, and covering um, the nooks and crannies of the software to help you uh, decide what features you will or won't need. So if you're wondering where to go next, that is uh, my recommendation. Uh, but if you have specific questions or if there's anything I can do to help support you on whatever stage is next for your Infusionsoft journey, please don't hesitate to reach out. That's it, guys. Take care. <laughs>